I'm going to discuss a new feature that's in MarkEdit 5.5 and be available um, on uh, the uh, 26th of uh, March, Saturday evening. Uh, the function is an addition to the Mark Editor. Um, it has deals with character encoding. Prior to Mark Edit uh, 5.5, the way that you would go through doing character encoding um, where the workflows would be you would either break the record and encode the character set or you would make the record and encode the character set from the mnemonic. Um, that's changed, or at least the functionality has changed in 5.5. Um, there's new options added to compile, so when you compile records you now have the option to select from different compile options under the file type. So if you look at the file type, the default is mark files that will generate a um, that will actually do no character conversion. It uses whatever is currently in the record. So in this case, I'll do ahead and create one default .mrk um, That will generate a file that looks like the current file. Um, we'll go ahead and compile another one here, and we'll translate it to UTF-8 because our data is in Mark-8. We'll go ahead and do a UTF-8 translation. So that's done. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. So if we look at the default, the default should include, and it does, the uh, same mnemonics that you find in the uh, source file. If we look at the UTF-8, we'll see that those characters have been replaced by their Unicode equivalents. So in 5.5, uh, we have um, the new ability to be able to choose an encoding type when translating data. Now the encoding types um, have one caveat and that's when encoding data from MARC-8 to UTF-8 the assumption is that the data is in UTF-8 and when encoding data from um, UTF-8 or from um, MARC-8 to UTF-8 is assuming the data is in MARC-8 from UTF-8 to MARC-8 is assuming the data is in UTF-8. So um, if you have data that's in an alternative format like Big 5 or Cyrillic, you still have to follow the, the general workflow which is to translate the data through the Mark Edit encoding tool into either Mark 8 or UTF-8 and then you can use the process to uh, translate data appropriately.